Alright, so it's me, Icon, and today I'm going to be doing an AVI tutorial on how to make an anime AVI, I guess. So, um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, you got the 3D layer, you got a 2D layer, and then the, the cut up. First, you would want to duplicate the layer, select the pixels of the logo, and then just extract it so that you will leave with like another version of the logo and next you want to make a stroke on an outline for the logo so that it will stand out from this so let me just go into fill in stroke first um yeah so i already have the color plan out you have this white outline here so now um you can you know you can just like um, rotate it if you want it doesn't really matter that much but the stroke the stroke here like the white stroke um, it needs to be different from the logo because this will be the thing used to differentiate between the logo and the background so yeah you would end up with something like this so uh, we're gonna create some outline for the stroke. Yeah. So the color, the color scheme, it usually depends on the wallpaper, like the character. So I have um, zero two here, and she has pink hair. So why not take some of her color and and you want to make another stroke, which is red. Um, the next part is might be a bit confusing, but just follow me and you will understand. So you just want to um, take one of the strokes and pixel notch it, two pixels to the left. You want to do the same for this red stroke, I guess, but this time you want to move it two pixels to the top. So now we want to select the original stroke and go to every layer and just cut it, the pink one and cut the red one. So yeah, we have something like this, the red stroke, it ends here and then it begins with a pink one, similar to this. So now, just bring the layer back to where it was, which is this. Do the reverse of it, the two pixels to the right, and then the same for the red one as well. So two pixels down, one, two. And then you want to take the white um, stroke. So one to the right and one down. Let me cut it. You can bring the stroke back to its original place and then just merge down everything. If the character blocks the a AVI too much, you can just erase some of features, I guess. Just play around with it, see what you got. So um, once you have done that, you can move on to final step which is the text you can add your own certain text effect in it if you don't know how to do it I have a tutorial on how to do it as well so I will link everything in the description so yeah just check it out and yeah but if you don't want to do certain text and you think that it will look bad on like a design like this then you can yeah you can follow what I do here so let let me get my text like everything on the text get the rotated layer just lay it from selection and add some outline to this um, I wanna play around with this for a bit um, I forgot one more thing on the logo so if you want to add like some shadow on this you can just make a duplicate layer going to drop shadow the angle is going to be 60 the blur is going to be 10 Five the color is going to be black, like the original logo, and then just extract it. So once you have that, you can also add your text down here. So if you're wondering about the font I'm, I'm using, it's actually Ubuntu Bold. It's a really popular font for for stuff like this. So you can add some finishing touch to this. Um, I usually add some like drop shadow to the text, I guess. So let me just do a drop shadow. I'm um, gonna keep the 60 um, angle and then just blow it, just blow it to 40 because why not, I guess. And then just make another layer. And you want to blow the layer as well. Um, just blow it to 40 as well. 
because it's easier to remember, I guess. Lightning Lodge add. You can also add some like highlight to the back of the logo, I guess. Let me just get the white thingy here. And then just bring the hardness to zero. Alright, let me just blow it here and then just make it like a little bit larger. Whoops, it's not too bright. That's fine. Copy, merge everything, paste it here so that it becomes a separate layer. You can also do some of the touching up like shadow and highlights, some highlights. Saturation 30, black and white layer, and then overlay it. Now just turn down the thingy a bit, merge it down. You can also do some RGB stuff, RGB splits. I kind of like the yellow, so I'm just gonna bring it to difference and then just bring, like, make it a little bit bigger. You can see like some RGB on the lines and the strokes. So yeah, that's basically it. It's really simple and it's easy to make. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any more suggestions on what tutorials you guys want me to do next, feel free to let me know because I'm a bit low on the ideas. And yeah, catch you guys later. Peace.